Well, uh, thank you. Um, I won't go through all of your titles, but it's Ian, yes. um, for, <gasps> for coming in. Um, but yes, Chad is correct. It is time to Proust Ian. Are you so ready, what, well, Ian? Oh. I, I, I can only hope so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so have you heard about this yet? I've tuned into the middle of it. Okay, so here's the deal. You're getting a Proust question. Um, and so there is, and actually, honestly, I would say there's a kind of a small chance that you could get a real whammo to the self-esteem. But not that many people have gotten them, right? Uh, but occasionally, just everybody makes the same noise on camera, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> so good luck. Yeah. Well, I, I have a day job, so I'm used to uh, weird questions. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Ian, thank you for coming in and speaking with me. Thank you for having me, Erica. It's a pleasure to be here. Fantastic. I have one question for you. Yes. Uh, what do you regard as the lowest depth of misery? The lowest depth of misery? Whoa. Oh. 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 Truly, the lowest depth of misery would have to be loneliness. Mm -hmm. Because any other misery... Uh, we are, we're human creatures. We are social beings. And we share things. We share our joys. We share our triumphs. We share our lows. And that's what allows us to, to really function. Because, you know, if we're happy, you can get overexcited and you can spread that joy. If you're feeling low, you can spread that out amongst other people and comfort each other. But if you're, if you're alone, you have to carry that yourself. Mm -hmm. And that will weigh and continue to weigh until you either find your claw your way out through pure mental fortitude or wallow for the rest of time. Yep, that's absolutely true. That actually would have been my answer to this question as well. So thank you so much. You're quite welcome. Yeah. Anyone else? I think we're I think we're all caught up. We are. Oh, <laughs> does Tom? I don't think Thomas wants to answer a Proust question. Chad asked us if uh, you could Proust, Lu Proust uh, Lewis. Oh, that's Lewis. Sorry. Sorry, Lewis. It's all good. No, I, I have a feeling the response is going to be more pig. More pig. <laughs> oh, more pig? Okay. Yeah, I can't blame him. He's just happy chilling here, so I'll, I'll give him a couple more minutes and then disappear the baby. Oh. Apparently he's just like looking at everybody, just going, oh, hi. Just vibing. Oh, hi. I'm cute. Good grief. So, where did Ian go? Did he take off as soon as his, his Proust was done? I, yes. I think he and Matt had to go do something. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, you're then. right. TQ hasn't been Prousted yet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't have to if she doesn't want to. I will. All right. All right. Back we go. I'm gonna take down the whole studio with me, apparently. TQ, thank you for coming and speaking with me today. Thank you for having me. Uh, I have one question for you. What is your most marked characteristic? I'm sorry, repeat the question? What is your most marked char characteristic? Like, marketable or marked? Oh, marked. 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 My tattoos? Sure. It's up, you, there's no wrong answer to these questions. I feel like that's a literal mark, so yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Fantastic. There you go. Perfect. Nailed it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> I love that that was a, that, that uh, Ian got, what, are, what is the depths of misery? Describe it. <laughs> uh, and uh, TQ got to go, yeah, my tattoos. <laughs> That's, uh, it's truly a, it giveth and it, and it uh, giveth some more. It certainly doeth. It certainly doeth. Um, 